Alright, so we're going to try this again. I had to take my Wi-Fi off because I'm too far from the router in the garage. So, um, like I was saying, when you're going to paint, go to the store, get you some of those little plastic gloves or whatever. That way you ain't got to worry about paint sticking in your hand and all that crap and then actually touching um, the thing. So, as you see, I got this on like one of those cake uh, people don't what's it called, a Lazy Susan or something like that, um, where I can move it around while I'm painting. So, so for the Raiders, um, what I got was, let's see, first things first, I always want to get Krylon primer, alright, I like Krylon. It dries fast, but it actually, it lasts. It doesn't scuff or anything like that if you drink. And then after the Krylon primer, go with the metallic silver. And then after you set that silver, you're going to use clear coat. And that'll seal the paint. So you see it's all... Old helmet. When it's done, it'll look like an authentic Raider helmet. So let's make sure we mix up the primer. You want to make sure that the primer will all your paint it shook up really good. Should I move this a little closer? Okay, we'll go about there. Alright, so first, for the helmet, what we're using is, if you want to use primer, always use a gray primer or a black primer. White sometimes doesn't mix right, and uh, you'll get pissed off. You'll have to re-sand re it down, and then you're screwed. So, here we go. Now make sure when you are doing it, it's a back and forth motion like this. You don't want to be up on it and um, spraying it. Otherwise, you're going to get those uh, paint runs and stuff like that. And again, you're going to be pissed off because you're going to have to stop and sand it all over again. Make sure you keep shaking the uh, shaking the can as you go. Make sure that the uh, paint evenly. That's why I like that back and forth motion. Now the one thing with with uh, gray primer though, when you're painting a silver helmet, you gotta really really look at it really good. 
So I probably won't finish this helmet tonight. I'll probably put the first bit of primer and I'll probably even put the first coat of um, silver, um, maybe even two coats of silver. And then um, I'll probably let it sit overnight and then hit the uh, another coat of silver. And then, um, and then they use the, uh, the clear coat and uh, seal it up, let it dry. This helmet should be totally complete um, and back together, decals and all, by tomorrow sometime. So um, I figure I'd just go in here and show everybody how to do this themselves. When you want to create, make your own NFL helmet, but you don't want to spend, one, you don't want to spend $89 on one of those hollowed out replicas that they sell in the store, the little cheap ones. Get your old Pop Warner helmet, old high school helmet, something like that. That you can get on eBay for like 30 bucks. Take it apart. Paint it yourself. I'm telling you, it looks like game worn authentic, I promise you. They're great for one of Christmas gifts. That's how I ran out of my other ones. Everybody, um, I had uh, 31 teams and then also some colleges. And um, everybody uh, bought them up for Christmas gifts. So. And I'm telling you, this Krylon dries fast. Dries fast. Intruder, what up? What it frap? You could do your Cowboys one, bruh. Real cheap, I'm telling you. So far, this... This uh, amount of primer is looking good. Looking real good. So, I'm going to let that sit just a little bit. Um, shoot, it looks good enough where I probably only need one coat of primer, but I'm probably just going to do two just as a precaution. But, yeah, let me see. So, y'all see it was black. Now, it's got the primer on there. Nice, even coats. I keep walking around it. I keep forgetting I have it on this spinning thing. So, but yeah, nice and even. Um, you can even hit in there a little bit. I don't like hitting in there because I don't want to ruin any of the uh, Velcro stuff. Um, but yeah, all around the the rim, the edge. Um, what I'll do have to do is once this dries, I'll flip it so it's sitting on the front, and then I can spray the back so that it's all the way around. But yeah, anybody got any questions or whatever, y'all let me know. I'll walk y'all through it. I'm telling you, I'm all about saving people money. Have